Yeah, of course. The laws of attraction. I'm very big on the laws of attraction, the energies and everything like that. It's surprising that he even asked about yeah, that. Yeah, facts though. It's surprising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm very big on the laws of attraction. That's like the best interview question I've gotten. Yeah, definitely. I, mani- really I manifested myself here. I'm pretty sure Juice manifested himself here. Yeah, bro. All that, and it goes to like speaking shit into existence and yep. all that shit. Thinking shit into existence, speaking shit to existence. How big is your goals? Facts, bro. Anything could be accomplished, bro. It's all Any- off, it's anything. off of you, bro. Like, Definitely. Facts. My name is Kima as a slump god. This is Juice World. Hey. This is my reality. Shout out Montreality. Let's and do we it. out here, bitch. This ain't Disney Channel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, the more fits the plugs. Corey saying, slide in the pussy with a red on the board and laughing. I leave the masses. Christian. Bitch, what's really little about me? I'm like, it's like clothes, no claws. Wait, where are you gonna run your deposit? None of mouth like water, no force. That was definitely the most, like, lyrical song that I've ever did. Freddy vs. Justin is definitely, like, me versus X. If, if you're a real fan of me or X, like, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. What is the abyss? I know Juicy talk about that. Like, what is the abyss? Like, like, what hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Crocs, pot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Am I allowed to make a phone call during this interview? Uh, <laughs> I just want you to get this nigga reaction. All right? Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris, Chris, Chris. I'm at this interview right now, bro. This shit on Montreal. It's like a it's big thing. Montrealty. Right? Montrealty. Listen, I wanted to get your reaction on camera. Guess what they asked me, bro? What is the abyss? <laughs> <laughs> the abyss? It's something I feel like everybody is trapped in. Here's a perfect example of the abyss shit. Somebody that goes get, goes to like a, a D1 college, they spend all this money, right, to, to get a degree. They don't even do the shit that they got the degree for, and then they work in the office job every day until they die. He is in the abyss or she is in the abyss. Or if you're in a relationship and the girl is like, has you, con like she's horrible for you, she's toxic and she's controlling you, she is the gatekeeper to that abyss that you're in. You have to get out of that by Sleep. leaving her. You could be awake or you could be asleep in life. Here's the easiest one, here's the easiest. There's no way, way to explain it. Yeah. You can't wake somebody up, fam. If you lost in the sauce, you're in the abyss. Yeah. And how do you get out the abyss? That's what we all you gotta, trying to figure you gotta out. Go through, <laughs> you literally have to go through something in life or wake yourself up. You have to realize what the fuck yeah, you're doing yeah, and be yeah. like, wow, I gotta wake up. I was listening to Thank Me Later the other day. I related to most of the shit he was talking about. And when it first came out, I was still singing it like I related to it. But now that I actually do relate to some of this shit, it's like, damn, bro, this nigga was really speaking from a standpoint. Drake has a lot to do up. with the culture, which is bro, weird. Bro, hell which yeah, bro. Weird. It's like... That nigga, he a gatekeeper, bro. The, That's why I got game Drake has a lot to do with the culture. The rap bro. game of Abyss, and Drake is the gatekeeper. He one of them. Facts. No cap, no latte. Time. Time. But it always. You heal a broken heart with time or uh, distractions. Even if it don't hurt no more, you're always going to remember how you are treated. You have to fully people, go through it. Like, you can't pretend like you you're not hurt it. no yeah, more. Yeah, you can't numb it because that's going to make it worse. You have to fully go through the heartbreak. Um, it's just something that, like he said, it's just time. T-I-M-E. Really and truly, if you love somebody, you got to, like, stop them from the bullshit that they're doing and show them that you love them. Like, we all hoes. Oh, shit. But <laughs> it's hope for us all, man. Like, you just gotta, like, tell somebody I love you and show them that you love them. You know what I mean? Like, there's hope for us all. You can't explain love, bro. You can't. I don't that's know what the like, fuck love is. That's like, nah, you love can't. Love is everything, bro. Everything and nothing at the same time. Because people, like, people get in trouble when they try to explain it. Love, like, bro, <laughs> like, that's you facts. could meet somebody the first day and love them. You could, like. Oh, yeah, there's no boundaries to the shit. There's yeah. no boundaries to love. You don't love me. We've been we've been dating for like five years. You There's say no you still don't love me, up. like bro. It don't. That could click on and click off at any moment in time. It's an emotion. There's no type of control. Two o one a.m. My bad. You good? It's just like you can't do like you can't control it. You can't put a cap on it. But like it's it's there. Definitely. It kind of runs us. You know. My message to the youth is that. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Stay in school though. I'd advise you stay in school because I didn't, and I thought that shit was lame. Stay in school, but if you don't, you can still do whatever the fuck you want. Um, my advice is, uh, you're not alone. Going through anything that you're going through, you're not you're alone. Not. I like, you know, just for people to connect with each other and be there for each other. Hit us up. 
I feel like you should really, like, it takes some soul searching, bro. Mm -hmm. And then you should really find fellowship with, like, friends, family, whoever the fuck. Like, don't be afraid to find someone that's, like, you could confine to. Even though that's hard, there's a lot of fake shit out. It's worth, like, a try because there's so much more than life than what people are showed. Like, you got to go get it yourself. Yeah. Some people don't even believe it's out there. And some mm -hmm. people don't even reach that that point, you know? So. You know, there's a saying that good things come to people who wait. Yeah. That's a lie. <laughs> good things come to people who go. Go get the shit, yeah. Good, good things come to people who go. Go. Gang, 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 my name is Kim. That's the Slump Guy. You are now watching Montreality. And it's lit, bitch. Yeah, Juice World shit. Montreality, even twin shit. Hey, Montreality show. Um, my message to the youth is stay aware of the shit that's happening around you, and don't don't get brainwashed by by fucking, you know, society today because that shit is very easy to happen and don't become a police officer.